So over here, you can see that I got a bunch of data right here. And let's say now what I want to do is I want to create another table with a certain expertise uh, so that I can relate uh, each person with certain level of skill sets right here. So now what I'm going to do is create another table for this. So what we're going to do is create something called relational databases using primary key and foreign key. So over here in this table, you can see that the ID has certain numbers which are auto generated. And this is the primary key for this particular table. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around onto the create tab and I'm going to click on table and I'm going to go around right here and rename out this table. But let me just go around and then uh, add in some value over here. Before that, I'm just going to go around and say that this is uh, a number right here. And this is going to be the ID. So I'm just going to say expert uh, ID right here. And then this one right here is going to be short text right here. So this is going to be uh, the expertise right here. So there you go. So now what I'm going to do is on the experts tab right here, you can see that uh, Sally Betts uh, primary key is that is her ID is one. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to type in the ID right here. One and expertise, let's say, for example, it's MS Word in her case right here. So I'm just going to type in MS Word and the expert ID one again. So I want to add in another date um, uh, expertise for Sally. So I'm just going to go around here and type in MS Excel right here. So MS Excel and I'm going to add in one again. So you can see that Sally's ID is one and I'm associating one right here with uh, Microsoft Word, Excel and a PowerPoint as well, just like this. I'm just going to go around type in PowerPoint. Then now I'm going to associate Robert right here with something else. So Robert's uh, primary uh, key that is his ID is two. So I'm just going to go around and type in two right here. And I'm going to say after effects right here. And I'm going to go around type in two again. And I'm going to say premier, uh, premier pro right here, just like this. And for another one right here for Milan, I'm just going to go around right here and then assign out another uh, expertise. So I'm just going to say uh, Maya right here. And I'm going to go around and say Blender right here, just like this. And I'm going to assign him another one that is Cinema 4D. So just like this, you can see that I've assigned the expertise. So there you go. There's the table. Let me just close this right here. I'm going to save the changes to the table. And I'm going to rename the table as expertise right here so I can rename this properly. So I'm just going to open this out. And this is what you have, as you can see. So there's the experts and there's the expertise. So right now, these tables are independent. And you can see that there's the ID right here and there's primary ID that is a primary key over here in expertise table as well. But over here, I have also created expert ID. So what I want to do is I want to link up this table right here, this database uh, table with uh, the table expertise right here. And that is why I added in uh, the IDs right here because I want it to be related. So now I want the primary key that is the ID to be related to the expert ID, which is going to act as the foreign key for this particular table right here. So now what I'm going to do is to do that. I'm going to go around into the database tools. And what you need to do first is close around the open tables and then click on relationships. So once you do that, these things are here. You can see that the tables are here. As you can see, you can click on add selected tables and there you go. There's, there's the expertise right here and you can also click and drag it right here to keep out these uh, uh, databases, right? Uh, database tables right here. So these are two tables and now what I want to do is I want to link this ID to expert ID. So this is the primary key and I want this ID to be the foreign key for this table right here. So all I need to do is I need to go around and then uh, uh, go around right here, click and drag it, click and drag the ID onto the expert ID. Just leave it on top of it. And over here, you can see that now the experts ID is will be related to expert ID in the expertise table from expert table, as you can see. So you can click create, but what you can also do is enforce referential integrity. So what this actually does is that it'll um, um, it, it'll actually uh, prevent uh, um, prevent you from accidentally 
adding in data for um, uh, something that has no ID assigned to. So I'm just going to keep this on as well and click on create and you can see that it has been related now. So one, so one ID is related to many data over here as you can see. That's why you can see one to many right here. You can also go around and double click on this, but you can see that this is blank because I did not click on the line. So you will have to click exactly on the relation uh, itself. So let me just go around right here and then uh, click on uh, the line itself and you can see this is here. You can also go around and choose other fields if you want to, if you deemed properly, select that out. So I'm just going to press OK right here and now let's open up the tables and see what happens. So if I were to go to experts, this is what you see and expertise, this is what you see. So the expertise data is here, but in expert you can see plus button right here. So now, if I want to see Milan's expertise, I can go and press the plus button and you can see that Milan's expertise is Maya, Blender and Cinema 4D. In case of Robert, it's After Effects and Premiere Pro right here. I can also go around over here and you can see this out. You can also alternatively add in more options. So let's say, for example, I'm going to type in MS Access. So now what happens is that uh, this will be updated right here. So I added in a new data. So now you can see that right now this is ten, um, opened up, but I added in a data. So I'm just going to go around, open up the expertise and you can see MS Access is there and the ID is assigned over here. So now if I were to actually go around over here, type in ID 4 right here, uh, then what happens is that another ID is added in. So if I were to add in some, uh, I, for some fourth, uh, person right here it can be linked out right here this does not actually uh, display in any one of these i'm just going to delete this out right here so then you can see that i can go around and if i were to go around over here and type in let's say for example three and add in ms publisher just like this i'm just going to say ms publisher so this will be updated right here so this will be added let me just close this and let me close this again and then open up the experts. So if I were to expand this out, you can see MS Publisher is added over here as well. So that is how you can create relations with primary key and foreign key inside of uh, Access Database so that the datas are related with each other so you can maintain a data hierarchy. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.